Certainly, because it's more objective. So that is one side of credibility, the objective side. It's the knowledge or the information or the facts that are relevant to whether or not that person knows what they're doing from other people's perspective. So it's more objective, right? But there's also the, the subjective side. So you might hear something from someone about a professional and based on what you hear, you think that they're credible, but then when you meet them, you have a different, your, you know, your own personal experience is different. So that's the subjective side. And the same is true in every relationship. Just because one person really likes their manager doesn't mean that their colleague next door has the same experience or the same view of that same manager. It can vary greatly. And people who work in complex environments or, or big environments, large corporations, they, they, they see this all the time. And they, But they also don't always know what to do about that. Certainly managers don't always know what to do about that. How do I get everybody on my team to not only view me as credible, but to act in accordance with that idea that I'm credible, as well as um, build it over time. So it's not just you have it and you're done and you know, you've reached the pinnacle. It's, it's a constant process. It's a constant evolution and within the relationship, which is the same thing that is true about the dimension of partnership. It's not like you get there and once you're there, you're done, you're fine. It's an ongoing development, it's an ongoing potential growth.